Hey friends, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido, and we are in now in the Texas Hill Country. We are camped right here on Canyon Lake outside of New Braunfels. And while we're here, we're gonna spend a couple of quick evenings, one each in New Braunfels and in San Antonio. So stay tuned. So we are in Cranes Mill Park. This is a U.S. Army Corps of Engineers park right on the shores of Canyon Lake. Uh, this is the first uh, COE campground that we've actually stayed in and we've actually found the sites to be generous, well spaced and some large asphalt and concrete pads that can accommodate virtually any size rig. Now this campground is the perfect jumping off spot for seeing not only this part of the Texas Hill Country, but also the charming community of New Braunfels. Uh, we're gonna take a ride over there now to see the historic district called Green. Uh, this is an area where German settlers first arrived in the area to plant cotton fields. And a lot of the architecture and culture from those early settlers still persists today. Once its own separate town, Green is now a restored shopping, dining, and entertainment district within the city of New Braunfels. Anchored by Green Hall, this building, the oldest continuously run dance hall in Texas, was built in 1878 and has helped to jumpstart the careers of Lyle Lovett, Towns Van Zant, Hal Ketchum, Nancy Griffith, Lucinda Williams, and many others.
Just after we shot these last two scenes in green, we put our camera away for the dusk right as the deer came out. We couldn't film them for you, but we've never seen a town like New Braunfels completely overrun with tame deer, simply coexisting with the town's folk in just about every single yard. It's a sight to behold. Now, we're situated only about 45 miles northeast of the city of San Antonio. Now, we know there's a ton of things to see in San Antonio, and we are limited on time this stop, but we're going to do our best to see as much as possible this evening. Mission San Jose is one of four Spanish frontier missions preserved by the National Park Service as San Antonio Missions National Historical Park. These outposts were established by Catholic religious orders to spread Christianity among the local natives as part of a colonization system that stretched across the Spanish Southwest. In the early 1700s, the people of South Texas found their cultures, their very lives under attack by Apache raids from the north and disease from the south. Survival lay in the safety of the fortified missions. By entering a mission, they forswore their traditional life to become Spanish and accepting a new religion. Mission San Jose was designated the San Jose Mission National Historical Site in 1941 and joined the other three missions to be incorporated into the National Historical Park in 1983. The mission was founded in 1720 due to overcrowding a few miles to the north at what was then known as Mission San Antonio de Valero. Now the Alamo. The church, which is still standing, was constructed in 1768 and still has an active parish that holds regular mass. San Jose, as it became known, was the largest of the missions in the area. At its height, the community contained about 350 Indian neophytes, sustained by extensive fields and herds of livestock. It was viewed as the model among the Texas missions, gaining a reputation as a major social and cultural center. It was an imposing complex of stone walls, bastions, granary, and a magnificent church. We went to Mission San Jose first, because it closes at 5, whereas the Alamo closes at 5.30. Now we're here by 5.15, but they aren't letting anyone else inside the Alamo for the day. As this is our only evening in San Antonio this visit, the Alamo will have to await our return. And we'll instead wander over to Riverwalk, San Antonio's beautiful preeminent dining and entertainment district.
So we hope that you've enjoyed this quick visit to the Texas Hill Country as much as we have. There's so much more to see and do here, and we were on such limited time, we will definitely be back. If you liked this episode, please be sure to give us a big thumbs up down below. Now we air new outdoor travel adventure videos each and every Wednesday. So if you're not yet a grand adventurer, please go on, smash that little red subscribe button down there in the corner and ring that notification bell. That way you'll get instant notification of each new episode of Grand Adventure as it premieres here on YouTube. Now we would be honored if you shared Grand Adventure with your friends, family, and on social media. And we always love to hear from you in the comments section right down below each video. Until next week, please remember life is nothing but a grand adventure. We're next grand adventure, we'll be off into the state of New Mexico. So we'll see you then.